morning, everybody. We are here again at the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure 2016. I'm Robbie Straczynski for PokerUpdate.com. I think you heard of this guy. Who's this guy? What's your name? Hello, Jamie Staples. Jamie nice Staples! We're so happy. <laughs> Jamie, the Twitch superstar. Everyone loves Jamie Staples. Thanks so much. He's also the December PokerUpdate.com Baller of the Baller Month. Baller of the Month. I've, I've never had that sort of title before, so I've, I've been goading it over my friends a little bit. <laughs> hey, hey. Baller of the month. December, Not so yes. many of those ballers yet, but you're definitely setting the trend. Anyway, thank you very much for taking the time to spend with us. We're going to ask you a few questions, and uh, yeah, I think everyone's going to be really entertained. I'm right? excited. That's what it's all about. Here so, um, this is your first Poker Stars Caribbean adventure. What's it, it like? Um, it's amazing. So I've I've only been to like south of the U.S. Right? I've never been to the tropics. Mm -hmm. So you know, coming here, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Mm -hmm. And then when I get here, I'm just like, wow. Okay. I need to keep coming here. Like, I don't right. think I'll ever miss another one again, you know, just until they're over. They're, it's just too <laughs> until great. Until they're over. <laughs> you know that feeling when you, like, open up your hotel door, yeah. and then you look out and you see the ocean, and you're like, okay, uh, this is it. Oh, yeah. So I'm having a great time so far. I haven't actually been able to play any poker yet, but the main event for me starts tomorrow. Okay. Um, just got back from Prague in December, right. so I, I sort of know, like, the EPT structure and, right. and what you can expect now, so I'm really looking forward to that, um, and... So yeah, yeah, like the transition into live events from online, like you're starting to do that more and more. A little bit more, yeah. yeah. I'm still an online kid at heart, but I, okay. I enjoy it for sure. Cool, yeah. very cool. Well, um, we've known, uh, what do you call it, at, at one point you had aspirations of being a professional golfer, right? I did, yes. So what made you switch to poker, and what similarities do you see between golf and poker? Well, I failed, I guess. I, I, re I, realized, I realized that it wasn't going to happen, mm -hmm. uh, so I did... I did um, spend most of my days from maybe like 12 or 13 until 18, mm -hmm. just like trying to be good, you know, play all day, the same way I'd sort of treat poker, ah, right, just okay. it, put a lot of resources into it, and uh, yeah, figured out that it was kind of tough, like golf is a really tough game to oh, get yeah. to the top level. You can't get the ball in the hole, it's yeah. hard! <laughs> Didn't have enough financial resources or natural talent to get mm. it done, Okay. Uh, and that sort of coincided with finding poker, so... Hmm. It's like this is interesting. I can compete with my mind. Right. Like, okay. And from this home, is cool. right? And from home. Yeah. And, and the Bahamas as yeah, well. Eventually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> um, <laughs> For sure. So, so I, I really just liked the game as soon as I found it and start to try to get better, compete against my friends, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it was a natural fit. In terms of golf and poker, mm -hmm. I think the mental aspect has huge, huge correlation, mm -hmm. um, where you need to focus on input mm -hmm. as opposed to uh, result right. to, to be successful. Right. So you can only do the best you can do, right. Absolutely. So that, I think that really helped me, um, you know, starting to think that way from like 13 and trying to get better at it mm -hmm. uh, has helped me in my poker game you as well. You're playing since you're 13? Thir uh, I play golf maybe 12, 11, but I got serious at 13. I was uh, like, okay. Okay. And when did you it. start with poker? How old were you? Uh, I was 18 and a half or so. Right. And now he's an old man at 25. It's like, whoa. 24. 24? 24, 24, man. Wow. Yeah. I thought you look, you know, not a day over 23. Yeah. I gotta tell you. <laughs> I still get ID'd everywhere. I so. <laughs> you really? Yeah, I got, I got the baby face. Well, they don't recognize. I mean, he's the poker star <laughs> sponsor for everyone loves Jamie's day. Well, one place people obviously recognize you, I guess, uh, Twitch stars, you know, you, Jason Somerville. Right. Um, um, what is it that prompted you to start the Twitch channel in the first place and, you know, do that sort of a broadcast? Did you have, like, a, a goal of some sort with it? Um, so a big part of it was actually Jason Summerall. I saw his stream. Oh, really? I was like, this is cool. Mm -hmm. um, but it coincided with me dropping out of school and deciding to pursue poker full-time. Wow. Uh, okay. Which took a while to gain the confidence to, to really do, but I right. did. <laughs> and so it was, it was great timing. Uh, Twitch Poker started. And I was like, okay, this is going to be fun, you know. I can I can hang out with people. I can explain my thought process, mm -hmm. play better, right? As well, and I might make you know a little revenue on the side, right? Uh -huh, um, right. So I was just like, this is a win win win. This is going to be so fun. And I, I started, and then I, I kind of just didn't stop. Had you ever been in front of the camera before to that extent, or no? no. So it was just like you just jumped right in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess, you it know. It was a learning curve. It was a learning curve for well, sure. Well, you've certainly done well. well <laughs> That's you. very, very nice. cool. Wow, that's a, how many followers do you have now on Twitch? Uh, I think we're 51,000. That's fifth, That's a lot of followers. Wow. <laughs> it, it's been a very good year. I'm, I'm very grateful Congrats, to all the people. Congrats, man. That's so. fantastic. Well, what do you think, um, you know, I'd say one of the top two, three reasons that Twitch is the future of online poker? Um... First off, I guess I think that's where the attention is, right? There, mm. It's such a huge site that 
the amount of eyeballs watching the content mm -hmm. is massive, right? It's, it's right. huge exposure for poker. Right. Um, and so I, I think that's a big part of it. Second off, I think online poker is really interesting. Mm -hmm. it, for me personally, I think it's more interesting than live poker to watch, okay. right? So well, because you're in engaging with people. You're engaging with yeah. people and you're getting three times as many hands per table, oh, you yeah, know? For sure, right. And you're face to face with a real human being. Mm -hmm. So I think the content is something we haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, poker sites like PokerStars are, are really starting to appreciate the content, you mm -hmm. know? And, and really be like, okay, this is something special that mm -hmm. we have here. This is showcasing our, our product, which is online poker. So, it certainly is. Um, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, um, we'll talk you know, about the future of online poker. Okay. One of the futures is PokerStar is probably going to go to New Jersey soon. Right. They got their, their license to operate there. Now, you're Canadian from the Great White North, eh? I am. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Will you be doing some activity uh, a little bit down south in New Jersey, perhaps, you think? I don't know. I don't mm. know I have any plans, and I don't have any inside information. No, I'm completely, I'm on, the, that, I'm completely on the outside, so I don't know anything. <laughs> but uh, you know, obviously, I'm I'm very excited to see poker back in the U.S. Poker stars back in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, so I, d I don't know the timeline or anything. I don't know if I would be there or not. Okay. Um, but you know, I'd love to participate in, cool. in whatever happens. Right. I I want to grow the game. So I got gotcha. you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Every time we turn around, well, we, everyone knows, okay, we know Jason Somerville, we know yourself, we know, uh, you know, uh, Joey Ingram, right? also right. very big, you know, streamers. Right. You know, how does someone, let's say they really want to start? It's okay. really tough to get, not knowing you can't, like, in three seconds, how do you get to the top, but, like, what's a good way to sort of start and say, you say you, you jumped in yourself? From your personal experience, you know, what would you tell someone who wants to say, hey, I can do that too, just like Jamie Staples? Well, I, I guess uh, off the front, I would say, like, there's nothing special about me at all. I'm just a guy. And he's humble, too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I just showed up, and I was like, okay, I'm going to do this, and I learned it as we went. So, like, you can do that. Mm -hmm. You can do that for sure. Right. Um, I think the thing that you need to do is develop a community from the early stages, hmm. and that's what smaller streamers and people getting into it can do better than myself. Really? Um, okay. If you have 30 people watching you consistently, right. you can really invest your time in those people's lives and what they're doing and, mm. and provide them value. If I have 2,500 or something, I can't make those same deep connections. Hmm. So I hear that. That's interesting. That's that, a good point. Yeah. I think that's how you need to start. You need to follow the Twitters of the people that are watching you mm -hmm. and rail their deep runs on poker stars. And you know, just see what's going on in their life, right? Provide them value, create that community. Makes a lot of sense. I, I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing as soon as I finish this interview here, starting my own Twitch channel. Oh, perfect! There yeah. you go. <laughs> for poker, <laughs> for poker okay. Well, you're 24. Right. You're an online pro, sponsored by the world's largest poker site. You're living the dream. Where do you go from here? What are your goals? What? What? Where, where's Jamie Staples in a year or two, three years from now? Five years from now. Right. Um, that's a very in-depth question. I released two vlogs on my YouTube channel. They're both about 30 minutes, detailing like all of my goals for this year, and I'm going to get them done. Oh, wow. But the short, the short version, yes. the short version is uh, my goal is still to become as good as I can at poker, climb mm -hmm. the ranks, try and play the biggest tournaments. Uh, this year, I'd really like to win a title of some sort, you okay. know, like a Sunday major, uh, T Coop, a W Coop, a mm -hmm. Scoop, mm -hmm. a PCA event, right. World Series poker main event, maybe. Maybe. You can maybe make that happen. Yeah, we like <laughs> live stream the final table of the yeah. main event. <laughs> yeah. So that is, okay. that's the first goal for me. Nice. Poker. The second, the second goal is sort of just uh, become, it used to be become a better streamer. Hmm. But, but now I'm doing some stuff on YouTube with my YouTube channel. Right. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be better at Instagram. Like, you know, those sort of things. Uh -huh. So I, I just, I'm trying to be the person that, that I look up to mm -hmm. and, and making wow. strides to that's, Did to you hear that? that? He's trying to be the person he looks up to. That's a powerful line. Right. right? That's a, yeah. a great message to everybody out there. Where to go? Good Thanks. Good luck. It's a great goal. Um, we're going to get into some personal business now. Okay. Everyone here, yes, we're playing poker and we're streaming, but we're in the Bahamas. Come on. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for fun when you're not playing poker or doing interviews for PokerUpdate.com? My trip so far has been a lot of like just, hey, you want to go for lunch and drinks? Yes. Okay. You want to go for dinner and drinks? Yes. It's tough. You want to go for night drinks? Okay. Yeah. So it's been like a lot of just hanging out with people <laughs> and, and you know, good food and drinks. Uh, I haven't really hit the island yet. I haven't done the lazy river, but it's definitely going to happen at some point. Totally going to happen. Um, some of my That's friends a different went kind of stream. Right. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got puns. Yeah, Got with the puns. Uh, <laughs> some of my friends went over to the island. Uh, oh, okay. uh, actually, and uh, I would really like to check out some of the local spots as well and see what the uh, um, Bahamian, Bahamian culture. Bohemian. Bohemian. Bohemian? Bohemian? No, I don't know. 
Bahamas. Okay, Bahamas the people in the Bahamas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like. So I'd like to check yeah. it out. Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to go off script now. Okay. And. Oh, goodness. Here we're we going to ask you, Mr. Staples, would you kindly choose a question from the hat and read it to our audience? I'm a little nervous. Okay. And maybe you can answer it too. What is the one must-have condiment you need on any sandwich? Oh, hmm, okay. Am I supposed to answer this? If you'd like, you can do a different question. No, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. I mean, I'll do it. Uh, we'll do another question, too. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's mayo, right? Mayo, okay. I guess so. Like, you can't, you can't have mustard on every sandwich, I don't think. Right. Not ketchup? Relish? Ketchup's too strong, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's got to be mayo. Mm. Hashtag mayo. Just smooth it out a little bit. Hashtag, Hashtag mayo. Yeah. Let's do one more. All right, that's all right. Perfect. Yeah, yeah that one's gone. It's burned. Burned. Burned and turned. <laughs> Poker update, burned and turned. <laughs> Who is your favorite Muppet? I haven't seen the Muppet <laughs> movie forever. <laughs> um, man, I don't know the names of the Muppet. Kermit? Yeah, Kermit. Kermit, Kermit. Miss Piggy? I'm a, Kermit, Bear. I'm a Kermit guy. Kermit think, through yeah. and through. Yeah. You heard it here at PokerUpdate.com. <laughs> Again, Jamie, thank you very, very much for spending the time with us. This was really cool. Yeah, thanks for having me on, man. My this was, pleasure. This Our great. pleasure. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more awesomeness from Jamie Staples. And Poker Update.